Morning everyone, another beautiful day in South Dakota. I think we're gonna have plenty of stuff going on out here. So hopefully we'll have a lot to show you in this video. Um, it's mid-May, so we have planting, tillage, as always feeding some cattle, but hopefully we get you some good stuff to watch this round. So right now I'm heading towards that dust storm up there. So today my dad has somebody coming in to grind some hay. Uh, we'll show you what that's all about, but they usually have to do this for uh, their cattle feed. They contract it out. It's not really worth their time and effort to manage a machine like that. Um, so depending on the time of the year, there's so many people coming in to grind the hay. You know, in the winter time when they're feeding a lot more cattle, uh, this is more prevalent, but when we're getting towards the summer, the feedlot's not quite as full. So we'll get to walk up here, show you what that's all about, and uh, kind of cool to see it's it's a real interesting machine it's almost kind of scary it's got a big huge claw on the top and everything controlling and uh i think i'm gonna go jump up over on those grain bins and show you what it kind of looks like as he's feeding the guy the bales to uh grind up and make into a pile over here okay so i'm on top of the grain bins it's actually a pretty awesome view up here if you look way over there is the calving pasture where some of the videos I've already shot. It's way over there, it's where I'm at. But here's our two big grain bins. They're full of corn right now. This one's pretty full. But back to what we were talking about before. So right now they're grinding hay as you can see. So my dad is just bringing up bales of hay from all these different rows. So one row might be grass hay, the next row might be alfalfa, the next row might be wheat straw or whatever. And so he's just going, he'll pick up some bales here and then brings them over to the guy grinding hay. And then he gets that kind of scary claw looking thing and throws them in there and that grinds it all up. So pretty interesting, real dusty because you're just fine grinding up that hay. Um, and then after it's all done, there should be a big pile uh, with the mixture that we'll use and that's what you see dropping in the feed wagon. And this is what we're left over after the hay grinder. As you can see, it's a pretty big pile. It's way up there. It's kind of cool. Um, but this is a hay that's going to be mixed in with our feed rations here. It's kind of all mulched down. You see it's real dusty. Um, but this is kind of a mixture of some alfalfa and grass hay. Um, this here looks a little bit more alfalfa. If you're kind of, if we stand back a little bit, you maybe see some different colors to it. And that's just the different colors of grass when the bales are going in there and getting shredded up. Um, you'll see the different types. Just like when you're going through your grass in your lawn, there might be different colors of the grass. That'll happen with this. This is kind of a mixture, a one-to-one -one mixture, more grass hay and alfalfa. Alfalfa is kind of a higher uh, uh, protein. It, it's better. It's kind of a, a more valuable source. But then the grass hay is a nice mixture and good energy source. So this will last us for a little while. You'll, you've probably seen it in some of the other videos we're filling up. This comes right through here, and this is pretty essential to our feed ration. So, yeah, that's what we're left with. Hopefully this lasts a little while. Thank <laughs> you. 
So my brother's just showing up here. He bought a couple loads of cattle. We're gonna get them added to the feedlot here. He should be pulling around here in just a second. Um, and we're gonna get those unloaded and we'll kind of walk through that too. Okay, we picked up another load right here. Uh, we'll get this one unloaded and then that'll be it for the cattle coming in today. So we got those calves back in their pens. They're out back, way back there now. They're out frolicking around, have a good time in a new playpen and sniffing around, finding the new corners. So those were some calves that my brother bought yesterday, um, kind of going after some cattle. So they weigh about 900 pounds. And so he'll have them here for about six months, I think he said, um, feeding them out and, and hopefully make money on those. So, but just like with anything with farming, it's a gamble, nothing's guaranteed. Uh, it's always a risk, but uh, that'll be a project for them out here and uh, you know six months from now they'll maybe be 14 1500 pounds after getting all the feed that we've been giving them and uh, maybe someday be a steak on your plate or something like that so man mom's growing some really weird flowers this year 